It is the Frugal Nista's house. This poor tree has not even been fluffed. Well, at least I fluffed those bottom branches. I'm going to fluff this tree and get started on my Christmas decoration. I am not going to let y'all see me do the entire tree, but I will tell y'all, I cannot decide between Santa and Jesus. So I guess I should take Jesus since he is a reason for the season, right? Oh, come let us adore him. Really trying to figure out what the theme is going to be in my foyer. Yes. All right, y'all, let's make some magic happen. I'll let y'all know what I decide to go with. But the goal is today is to get a hold of the front part of my house. I'm going to let y'all see the piano room. Yes, still dealing with Ikea boxes, okay? Ikea boxes and trifling and fall, yes, yes. Took pictures and stuff down. So I need to get a hold of this room. Let me turn the lights on in here. It's still a very cloudy day in my neck of the woods. Very, very cloudy. Okay. Yeah, my funeral home furniture is still here. I often, well, we were laughing the other night. Magnolia said it. She said, Mom, you know, it does look like a funeral home, a funeral home parlor in here. It so has the 90s vibes, okay? We have the dark furniture that I just had to have back in the day. This is the furniture from my condo. So y'all know, speaking of going, this condo go, this condo furniture needs to go, go, okay? So condo furniture back from the early 90s. Well, not early 90s. It was back from the 90s. I'm just going to say back from the 90s. Look at the mirror. That mirror is screaming somebody's funeral parlor. Y'all, look at these. Look at the stripe and gold. Just had to have them back in the day. Had to have them. Look. Okay, classic. Classic. Ugh. All right. So I can't make it happen for Christmas, but I am going to make this room be more modern. I am. Okay? So... So, yes, and even Magnolia said, Mom, we have a, a place to put the dearly departed's picture. Look at this easel over here. <laughs> yeah, so I got to do this room. I have to do this area. This is a for you. And I'm going to try my best to do this. Like, I guess I could go put those umbrellas in the garage. That's a simple fix. So, it's a lot of stuff in here that's just gotten thrown in here from us doing the kitchen. Um... Mr. Santa's down here, and that's what I'm trying to debate. If I want to do Santa in the foyer, or do I just want to do the tree in the foyer and not really do a theme in the foyer, you know? Maybe I could take my uh, angel and make this the Jesus theme, okay? And then just the foyer be plain, and then take the Santas and put them in here in this room. Yeah, so that might be what I'm doing also. Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas. Ching, 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 ching. Okay, I'm a little bit uh, more than a uh, probably halfway mark with this tree and fluffing it. You know, you have to touch each and every branch. But I want to tell y'all, this is an incredible tree. All this fluffing I'm doing, and there is virtually little to no shedding. Who is this in my drive? Oh, sorry. Somebody was at my drive. Y'all know me. I'm Miss Kravitz of the neighborhood. But it's little to no shedding. And I'm getting close up. And what I try to do is try to make the branches look like snow has fallen. Now, this branch is completely covered. But if you know on the bottom, uh, it's a little less. So I try to make it look like, you know, snow is just drifting on those parts that are showing as I'm fluffing it. And I always make sure to pull this little piece up all the way inside the tree. You know, pull those up. Because as you get, you know, to the um, center of the tree, you don't want to see any of those wires, even though they are covered in um, the flocking. Yeah, I am very impressed with this tree. Okay, guys, um, I got these from Dollar Tree, and I wanted to show you this to try to, um, these were really, to me, good quality. I know y'all remember Dollar Tree having them. I haven't been in Dollar Tree a lot this Christmas season because I don't know what's happening to New Jersey's Dollar Trees. And I'm going to say all of New Jersey because I can get to at least 12 Dollar Trees without burning a tank of gas. 
and I've gone to all of them and they just don't have the, they just don't have the stuff that you guys are hauling in your video. But I got these from Dollar Tree back in the day when they were a dollar. Y'all remember these little uh, Buffalo check ornaments. And I want to show you how I'm going to pair it with this beautiful ornate gold and red. Okay. I'm not going to show you, show you the entire tree, but I'm digging mixing this with this. I got so many patterns going on in here. And when you come into my foyer, I don't want you to have to have a focal point. I want your eyes to bounce, bounce, bounce. The room is big enough, I think, to handle all of these textures and all of these, um, you know, patterns and looks. So yeah, Dollar Tree, got this from Dollar Tree. And I'm getting ready to nestle it in this tree. I might not even take the tag off, y'all. There we go. Yeah, I think I, well, no, I won't. I might not even take the tag off. Look at that. And that is just so pretty mixed with that. Just kind of tucked in there. That little sparkle of black is picking up on my black over here. Yeah. Yep. So just a frugal nista tip. Going inside to Dollar Tree, spend $1.25 for a really beautiful ornament. Or waiting to season in ornaments like these because Buffalo Check, it's still popular, but it's not on trend like it was years ago. So you might be able to get something like this where somebody else is saying, wow, I don't want that because it's not on trend, but you might say, wow, I can get this and make it work. Yeah. All right, guys, let me get finished decorating. I'm so excited. I'm inspired. I'm inspired. <laughs> and y'all, I am going to take the uh, little tag off those, but, and I only purchased six. Yeah. I only purchased six of those. Okay. Two are on the tree already. And these are the four here. So it doesn't take a lot to make a big impact. I'm not one of those persons and I love the look of a tree like that. I kind of did my tree like that last year where I just flooded with ornaments. That look is so beautiful to me, but just as beautiful to me are very sparse trees, kind of giving you a more modern take or modern uh, vibe. Yeah, so it doesn't take a lot either, guys. So if you see a few, you know, grab them, put them in your arsenal and you might use them in years to come. These have been sitting, sitting downstairs with the tag still on them since uh, at least three years, at least three years. Hey guys, this is Frugal Nista. I forgot to turn the camera back on, but I'm getting ready to put this outdoors uh, and also getting ready to end the vlog. I got so much done today. Yeah. And by morning, I'm hoping to have the room to the left or the room to the right finished, okay? All right, so let me show y'all what I decided to do with this. Y'all know I picked this up from turn seven for 10 bucks, okay? And believe it or not, the item that's missing is actually a tree. And I just found me a little tree to put in it. Now, the tree that should go here is like one of those um, Mr. Christmas trees, because this is from Mr. Christmas, guys. Um. So I just decided to put one a little, maybe I got this from Dollar Tree, y'all? No, I don't think I even got this from Dollar Tree. I don't know. But anyway, I just put a little tree here and I think that's gonna be cute to finish that look off. And now I'm gonna put some batteries in it and see how it looks. And then I'm gonna sit it outside on my front step. Now we're expecting snow. If it snows, it might be coming back in. I don't think it's fragile, fragile, but um, I think it's gonna look so cute. Well, as a matter of fact, I know it's gonna look nice on the front porch. Yeah, I actually did the front porch also, guys. I put a wreath out, put that, uh, putting this out, and I also have another um, Christmas element outside also. And I'm thinking about, uh, so let's let's try to see how this looks with the batteries on, okay? I will do that with uh, you guys. Now, I just put the batteries in it. As you can see, the lights still work. And I don't have one of those blow uh trees if i find one i'll definitely use it because it's just made out of that blow plastic okay and we're going to go here and we're going to put this here and see how it looks okay hold on there y'all and there we go now of course i'm going to spruce the tree up a little bit i'm thinking about even putting some battery operated lights on here I did have this tree, and I guess I can show you guys. The tree that should go on it is a tree that looks like this one. You know, that classic Mr. Christmas look with the little star at the top. But I had this one also. 
which has a light in it. Oh, I hope y'all didn't see the tree. Let me make sure. Let me see if I was walking. Okay, I don't think y'all saw enough. Uh, I will check in the um, editing and make sure y'all can see my Christmas tree. Okay. Yeah, so I think I like the one with the light on it better. What do y'all think? Yeah, let me see if I can try that one with the light on it. Or do I like this one better? Y'all, I hate choices. Are y'all like that? If I just had one and be like, okay, we using that and done. Now I'm gonna try to find a little skirt to go around the bottom of that. Yeah, something, a napkin or something. All right, guys, let's see how it looks outside. Okay, and this is how it looks outside. I love it. Oh, sorry, y'all, let me close the door. Y'all being nosy, I saw you. <laughs> okay, and this is how it looks outside. I love it. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Okay, and I'll just show you guys outside while I'm out here. This might change. But I have the little uh, Merry Christmas sack here in this corner with the tree. So cute. And in this corner, I have this tree. Y'all remember my free find tree? I picked this up from Home Goods years and years ago. Remember all the free stuff I was getting, y'all? Gorgeous. And then I have this wreath with um, just red ornaments on it and a beautiful pinstriped uh, bow. Yeah, so I like that look. Okay, I'm trying not to let y'all see inside. I know y'all probably peeking. Yeah, but isn't that festive? I love it. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow in my next day of Vlogmas. Bye, guys. So cute, right? So cute. Okay, guys, it is dusk outside, so let me show you how it looks. And I'm loving it. That's it with the porch light off. I think I'm going to keep the light off. And if you pull back, so that's how it's going to look. And it's going to be a beautiful halo effect with the, you know, light shining from the inside. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it for uh, today's Vlogmas. I will see you guys tomorrow. Y'all take care. Jazz hands.